So I read a really good article yesterday. It was written by a guy called Mark Pickles and it was entitled No Excuses. It's an article that articulates something that I've been thinking about for a while really, really well. So instead of me just trying to reinvent the wheel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer you to the article so that you can actually go and check out the article. It's on LinkedIn, but you're going to see the link to be able to get to the article below this video. It's a fantastic article and what it does is it talks about the excuses that salespeople make. And it talks about a variety of different things, but one of the points Mark makes is that actually sales is quite a tough job. And I'm in total agreement with this. Sales is a very high staff turnover industry. You find that a lot of people will go into sales because it seems like quite a glamorous job. You can be very successful, you can earn a lot of money, and a lot of people think, yeah, great, I can become a salesperson. But bottom line is, they really don't have what it takes because it's a tough job. Daily you have to deal with rejection. Daily you have to deal with the frustrations of having to deal with other people that maybe don't quite understand the value or the proposition of what you're selling. And rejection is a massive big thing and unless you're able to deal with that rejection and the tough element of sales you're never going to be successful. Mark talks about the fact that the most successful salespeople are those salespeople that have such a great self-confidence. They have an attitude, self-belief, a conviction in themselves. They have a willingness to keep on learning and to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to be successful. And what you find is, is the weak salespeople and those people that really frustrate me and obviously frustrate Mark based on the article that he's written are those salespeople that when they fail, when they don't achieve the numbers, they come up with every single excuse in the book as to why they didn't. One of the points that Mark makes in this article is salespeople stop making excuses. Take responsibility for your own failures. Yes, of course, there are things that are always going to be out of your control as to why a deal may not come through. But bottom line, you need to take responsibility for your own failures for when things don't turn out. And you just need to accept it, take it on your chin, pick yourself up, refocus yourself and get on with it instead of making the excuses. The point Mark made at the end of his article is that when it comes to making excuses, when you find yourself making excuses, rather than focus on the problem, why don't you focus on what you can do about the problem and just do it? If you're in sales and you find yourself continually making excuses and your perception is when you don't achieve your number at the end of the month, if you don't achieve your quota or your target, you're always making excuses and you find yourself making excuses and blaming everything and anybody else. If that's you and you can't get past making the excuses, my advice to you is get out of sales and find a job that's a little bit easier because sales is a tough job and not everybody can do it. A lot of salespeople, I think, need to take stock, look at sales as a career and really ask themselves the question is, are you tough enough to be able to hack it because not everybody can.